Okay, now we created this in the previous video, and just to refresh your memory, uh, I got a CSV file called business.csv that has three columns, your sales profit, and it's separated by commas. It's in this directory, so I set my working directory, I do a read.csv to bring that in to Y, and I just print out Y so I can see the, the data. And then I did a hist on Y on dollar sign sales. This is the name of that column, sales column. Okay, now we're going to expand upon this. So I'll put a comma. And now I'm going to put my title. So main is equal to sales for XYZ company. We do an edit run all. And you see it changed that sales for XYZ company. I'll put a comma here. And I'm going to do an X label equals sales. This will change our label down here on the x-axis. Do an edit run all and you see it changes it to sales. Um, now the part of the problem is is well my frequency doesn't go up high enough. That's, a, that's an issue right there. Um, I want the maybe the frequency to be printed above the bars here. And uh, so I guess I need a comma here. And I'm going to say uh, labels is equal to true. And do an edit run all. And you see, put our, see put our numbers there. So if you want to put those numbers there, that's what you can do. Now, if I want this to go up higher, I'm going to do comma. And that's my y axis. So I'm going to set my y limits um, equals. And then C, and I'm going to go from 0 to 20. And do an edit run all. And now it shows a little bit better, so you can see uh, your actual frequency there. Maybe I don't need these numbers above my bars at that point. That's kind of your call. Now I can change this down here too if I want. This is actually fine. This is a little trickier to change. You know, here I can put, pretty well put anything. And I put 21 in. I do an edit run all. Um, you see it scooted it down. It didn't put 21 on here, but it actually adjusted for it. Okay, let me put that back. And again, when I run it, see how it changes it back. If I do the X limit, that's my values on the bottom. If I have it go from uh, 9,000 to 51,000. So I'm increasing or decreasing this by a thousand, increasing this by a thousand. If I run this, watch my graph. You see it um, changes a little bit, but kind of just uh, scoots it in. Does not give you new values down here in the bottom. Actually, 21 didn't give us new values here either, so I guess it's kind of the same thing. Um, what you'd have to do is see how these go by ten thousands. Um, so to get the next one, I would need to um, instead have this go from 0, 10,000 minus 10,000 is 0. And this one's 50,000 plus 10,000 is 60,000. And then if I do an edit run all, you see that it puts that on there. So if you want the more space here on the sides, you can do that. But to get the values to actually appear down here versus just kind of uh, resizing it, uh, you need to have them in even increments like that. Now, I don't have to have um, what you're seeing there. I can put in values. When you put a number, comma, another number, it will do a range. So if I do 10,000, 20,000, 30,000, 40,000, 50,000. Now if I run it, edit run all, error in plot window, uh, what have I done wrong, 10,000, 20,000, 30,000, 40,000, 50,000, uh, oh no that's not X limit, um, never mind, I'm thinking of breaks, okay let's put that back to 10,000 to 50,000.
There we go. Ten thousand to fifty thousand. Uh, breaks is what I wanted to, is what I'm thinking of there. Now breaks is equal to. Now right now we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I can reduce it to four breaks. Half of that, and it'll still work. This is a little bit tricky to get uh, working. See, so, you know, I got quite a bit of frequency, so I need to increase that. But um, I can increase it to 16 breaks. And then I have 16 bars. Now, as weird as it seems, you cannot put like 15 uh, bars in here. Edit run all. You see it doesn't change at all. Um, so it has to do with the, the even breaks um, between the different um, bars. At least when you're trying to control it like that. So I could do 4, 8, 16, 32, probably 64 if I had to guess. That's giving me 64 bars. Like that. Okay, let me go back uh, to 8. And it's just what you're trying to um, express here. Because remember, this this is just not just changing the number of bars. It's changing uh, the um, frequency. So it's counting how many are between 10 and 15,000, including 15,000, or 17. When I change that to 16, like that, and do an edit run all. Oh, uh, wow. 10, 12, 14, 16, 18. So this is 10,000 to 12,000, including 12,000. There's four in that range. Um, so that's what you're controlling when you do the breaks there. So I want 16. So it didn't change anything. Okay. Now instead of doing that, though, with your breaks, you can actually put numbers in here. So I'm going to go to 10,000, uh, 20,000. 30,000, 40,000, and 50,000. This is where you're t telling the upper end. And if I do an edit run all, you see how, um, well, excuse you, starting. And then you got your upper end here, the 20,000, 30,000, 40,000, and 50,000. So you can control that. Um, It goes up pretty pretty tall, doesn't it? Um, you don't even have to go by even increments. Like this could be 25,000. And edit run all. Eh, maybe I'm lying to you. Guess that doesn't have to go by even increments. I thought uh, I thought you didn't have to do that. I guess not. Okay. But anyway, that shows how you can set those. Or if you just take them out completely, then it guess it guesses what the um, boundary should be. And then I do run edit run all, and it assumes uh, assumes eight uh, based upon that. Uh, let's see, what have I showed you? Uh, labels there. There's one more, and I'm not sure if I remember it, but we'll try it. Um, I think it's where frequency is equal to false. So let's try that. Okay, it changes it to density, but then didn't uh, come back with anything. It says they're all zero. Um, maybe because I got some of these in here. Let me get rid of those. Oh, because this is going from C to zero to 20. And when you're going to density, you're going zero to one, zero to 100%. Ah, edit, run all. So maybe I did remember it correct. No? Let's get rid of that. Let's get rid of that. And still not working. I don't I'm not gonna remember the frequency, obviously. So I'll get rid of the frequency. There we go. You'd have to Google it. Um, I don't remember, um, uh, but instead of frequency here, you can set relative frequency. Um, so it'd be like 0.53 um, 
you know, whatever, whatever it might come out to, 0.25 and so forth. Well, that shows you a little bit more of the options available with the histogram. And, um, you know, I'm definitely not a, an expert at histograms, as you can tell. I had to play with it a little bit. And that's part of programming. You know, you got to be willing to experiment uh, with it and, and then research it. Um, how did I find this? Labels equal true? Uh, I Googled it. <laughs> so I, I searched on Google.com and I found out that's how you put the labels above it. Um, now, I was trying to remember frequency. I, had, I didn't Google that. But uh, if I Googled that, then I'd figure out how to do the frequency on that. And that is as much as I want to show you about the options for his brain.